So hello, today I wanted to film a video about uh, products I wanted to uh, use up in uh, 2021. There are 10 of them, so this is 10 project. And um, uh, let's start from the gimme products. Uh, first of all, I have this uh, Wicon pencil. This is really small. You already have seen it many times on my channel. And um, this is number 10 uh, um, brown. Uh, so this is number one. Uh, another uh, give me product is this uh, Essence Gloss. This is uh, was uh, sold like a liquid lipstick, but really it's a pigmented gloss. I already took a stop route and there is not much product left. I'm going to use it only to film my videos because I, I cannot use it because here in Italy when we go out we have to always wear a mask when we're out of our house. So this is why this product is not going to go so fast but it's I consider it a gimme product anyway because I'll use it uh, to film my videos. I also have this bronzer from uh, uh, Kiko. Uh, this is like um, an NYC uh, sunny bronzer. I repressed into this Kiko packaging because it's more useful. And um, it's already started crumbling and I use it with this uh, brush from um, uh, my Neve Cosmetics kit. Uh, this bigger brush here and uh, it uh, gives me quite a smooth uh, application I like it and um, I'm gonna use it uh, all the time I think um, also talking about um, give me products is this uh, spray from uh, Crystal Evo uh, Shine Hair. It contains linen oil. It's like a silicone spray you spray on your hair after you wash it. But I don't wash my hair this uh, very often. I wash it maybe like uh, every six uh, days. So um, this is going to be difficult to finish, but I will. It's already under this line, so I think. I will finish it uh, this year. Uh, I also wanted to finish this concealer from Pupa. This is a, uh, a concealer I bought uh, last year. It's not very old, but I didn't use it much because I don't care about covering up my dark circles anymore. I just apply foundation and that's it. And um, uh, this concealer, um, it applies very smoothly, it, very thin on the skin, and it's very pigmented. So maybe after I finish my Kiko foundation, I will finish also this concealer too, instead of foundation. We will see it. Also, uh, talking about... Um, products I'm not so um, interested in is this uh, um, highlighter. It's a Makeup Revolution baked highlighter uh, that I uh, repressed into this Pupa packaging because it was not broken and it has a mirror. Uh, it was a golden light shade and uh, at first I liked it very much but after some time I started noticing that highlighters don't look very good on me that they um, maybe it's because of you know color theory I'm autumn so um, more opaque uh, uh, more matte textures look better on me and um, maybe I will use it up in a lotion or something we will see in the next updates how uh, how it goes I don't want to use it on my face, unfortunately. 
I also have another highlighter in my collection. It's a uh, uh, Mary Luminizer, and it's also on its last leg. But I don't want to use them on my face anymore. Uh, so talking about perfume, I have this uh, to start in my scent, and it doesn't last on my skin neither my uh, clothes for a long time. And uh, it smells kind of florally, it smells like lilac to me. I like lilac smell because it's a smell of my childhood. I, I was growing up in Ukraine where we have um, like forests of li well, lilac. Uh, but I um, don't like it because it doesn't last on my skin at all. Uh, and have to reapply it all the time. I also have this blush from uh, e.l.f. This is a coral blush from their mineral collection. It's a very old product. My boyfriend gave it to me in a kit and um, I was uh, able to weigh it and it's only one gram left. There were two, uh, there were three grams when uh, it, um, um, if I if you believe what is listed on the packaging, but now it's only one gram left, so I hope to finish it soon. I prefer more pinky blushes right now. And uh, talking about uh, eyeshadow, I have this. Um, uh, first of all, this uh, melted chrome eyeshadow from Essence. This is a grey shade and um, these eyeshadows became popular because they uh, work like uh, the Colourpop shadows but uh, mine was already dry when I bought it and I had to mix it with carrot oil to make it work and now it's not that pigmented at all and I don't know how to use it um, maybe I will try um, a few times and we'll see how it works you see it's not very pigmented here it has to be more pigmented and um, we'll see how it goes with this product maybe I will only hit pan on it and that's it and uh, uh, the last product is this um, uh, eyeshadow from P2 uh, this was a makeup brand sold here in Italy, it's from Germany and um, this eyeshadow is really cool because it's like a burgundy shade uh, these colors were really popular a couple of years ago and um, I wanted to maybe double or triple the pan on this uh, shadow because I don't use it that much and um, uh, that's it for it uh, I also was like kind of uh, interested in it because um, when I was updating my Panzer palette last time I picked this uh, red shade from uh, my Panzer palette and I thought maybe uh, this burgundy and the red together will look kind of cool but I don't know, I will have to try it to layer it up maybe and uh, we will see how it works um, um, thank you so much for watching and uh, uh, see you later subscribe if you want to see updates I will update this project every month uh, thank you so much for watching goodbye